exclusive. Family narrates how over 30 heavily armed marksmen loyal to Kogi governor Yaya Belo raided Abuja estate to abduct Shafiu, brother-in-law, and label them as terrorists. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. It's also witnessed the operation told to her reporters that a gunman came in multiple cars and we are 30 to 40 in number. Ibrahim Fari Shafau, a loyalist of Natasha Akoti Uduagan, the People's Democratic Party candidate for Kogi Central Senator District, have been identified as one of the persons allegedly abducted by gunmen at Trademore Estate in Abuja on Monday. The media on Wednesday reported that Nigeria Secret Police, the Department of State Services, uncovered boxes of explosive in the next state located in the Lugbe area of the Federal Capital Territory. It was learned that two pistols were also recovered from an apartment arrested by an alleged ter terrorist in the estate. This was contained in a notice issued by the management of the estate to residents on Wednesday, urging them to be vigilant. The management also advised residents to report any suspicious movement, persons or activities to its executive, street representatives or the police. But the authorities of the Federal Capital Territory Police Commander Thursday described it as fake news. DSP Josephine Ade, public relations officer of the FCT Police Command, said it is not true, it is fake news. When Sahar reporter visited the street where there was a raid by DSS officers, which is located behind Living Faith Church Worldwide, aka Winners Chapel, inside Trademore Estate Phase 3 on Thursday, the estate securities and executive declined to make comments about the incident. Some of the residents said they were scared and never saw it coming. And never saw it coming. A source who witnessed the operation told Sahar reporters that a gunman came in multiple cars and were 30 to 40 in number. According to the source, the gunman first entered a building that supposedly belongs to an assistant commissioner of police where they assaulted the family, brought out children in handcuffs before one of them noted that they have raided the wrong house. He noted that severally they raided the house where Shafeu and his brother-in-law, Yusuf Abdul Rahman, were arrested. According to the source, the operatives also went away with all the phones and wallets found in the house. But also allegedly went away with a purse belonging to Shafir's wife with almost 350,000 naira and about three diaries, a laptop and his car. The source said I was informed by an insider that some unknown gunmen came and took Shafir away. So I rushed down to the estate. On affirming the incident, his wife and mother, who were at home when it happened, could not speak because they were traumatized. They could not even move. They were just shedding tears and the whole house was turned upside down. The ceiling was broken and the doors and so on. So I had to control myself and went to the estate management post. I met some security guards on duty and some management people and I asked them what actually happened. I was told that they noticed that they noticed some movement around 2 p.m. that day. After some time, the guys came with Hilux Prado SUVs and some Sienna bosses, although they could not give me the accurate number plates of the vehicles they came with. Someone in the city witness of the operation told me that they were about 30 to 40 and most of them were masked. He said only a few of them were not masked. They wore black and they noticed a white guy among them too. According to the witnesses, the gunmen first entered a building that supposedly belonged to one assistant commissioner of police. They assaulted the family and brought out the children in handcuffs before one of them said that he was not the one. Abuja residents, they say, Nigerians stay security conscious. Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.